Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Gold Rush crew worried Parker Schnibble won't find gold next season. Cold Rush fans know that Parker Schnibble is mining thousands of ounces of gold in season 10, but already Team Schnibble is concerned about next season. Will they find any gold on Parker's new spot? Parker's team worried Schnibble won't find gold. Gold Rush fans have spent season 10 watching the Schnibble crew unearth thousands of ounces of gold. They are leading the show. But according to the Monsters and Critics preview, there is some doubt that Parker will repeat this next season. Renan Ruault and Fred Lewis are worried about next season because they are mining on untested land. Renan shares his fears as he says, we need something to pay off because none of us know where we are going next season. So Brennan is worried about an untested claim? Bring in Parker Schnabel, Parker, who was taught by the best gold miner ever, his late grandpa John Schnabel, he knows a few things about testing ground. Parker instructs Brennan to excavate for pay. Brennan digs for an hour. Parker asks Brennan if he found some bedrock. Brennan hesitantly admits that they have some dirt to wash at least. Parker lets out a cheer as they put the first shovelful into the mini plant. Fred explains to the cameras that it is working, rocks to the top, pay to the bottom. Could this mean gold? Yes. Parker tests again twice, and there is a promising amount. Brennan and Fred should feel pretty assured, Gold Rush Season 11 should be awesome. Next time, ask Master Mechanic Mitch Blaschk. Brennan and Fred only had to speak to Master Mechanic Mitch Blaschk to calm down. Mitch knows he is working on a very successful team. He also knows what it is like working during the worst of times. That includes the ill-fated Hoffman crew trip to Guyana for Gold Rush Season 4. No surprise, he jumped ship and joined Parker's team for Season 5. Guyana was a brutal trip for the entire Hoffman crew. But Mitch's initial work with Todd was pretty legendary. Gold Rush fans will remember that Mitch originally joined the Hoffman crew in Season 3. He joined Todd Hoffman and his team at the Quartz Creek claim. Mitch was remarkable because he was quick to adapt the bush fix mindset. This means that he was creative in fixing equipment with the parts that were available on the claim. According to a Discovery interview, Mitch really enjoyed his bush fix experience. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. He memorably fixed the plant's hydraulic pump by hooking up Jack Hoffman's 400 to the hopper feeder. Mitch has been invaluable to Parker. No one will forget how difficult times were when Mitch left the claim in the midst of Season 7 in order to get married. Is Gold Rush Season 11 gonna happen? Discovery rarely shares that they have renewed their top shows like Gold Rush and Deadliest Catch. It is pretty clear that as Brennan and Fred are already talking next season, there will be a Gold Rush Season 11. But before fans get too excited for Season 11, there is Gold Rush. Parker's Trail Season 4. As TV shows Ace previously reported, the new season will take place in Australia. There are more rules and regulations that Parker has to deal with, as well as deadly snakes and spiders. Thank goodness Fred Lewis will be there to keep Parker alive. TV shows Ace also reported that a blonde, leggy Aussie mining beauty, Tyler Mahoney, will be showing Parker around the country, looking for gold. Based on social media, it looks like Parker and his team really had an amazing Australian gold mining adventure. The air in the Yukon was thick with anticipation as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the rugged landscape. The land, vast and untamed, had seen its fair share of dreamers and desperados, each lured by the promise of riches hidden beneath the earth. Among them was Parker Schnibble, a seasoned gold miner whose name had become synonymous with the relentless pursuit of fortune. But this season the stakes were higher, the risks greater, and the doubts were beginning to creep in. The crew had gathered around the campfire, their faces etched with worry. They had seen Parker pull off miracles before, turning barren stretches of land into veritable gold mines. But this time felt different. The ground beneath their feet seemed less forgiving, the pay dirt less plentiful. As the fire crackled and popped, their murmured conversations revolved around a single, unspoken fear. What if Parker couldn't find gold this season? Rick, Parker's trusted right-hand man, was the first to voice what they were all thinking. I don't know, man, he said, staring into the flames. We've been digging for weeks, and we've barely hit anything worth mentioning. 
the ground's just not giving up its gold like it used to. Mitch nodded, his expression grim. I've been running the wash plant day and night, but the gold count's been way below average. We're burning through fuel and time, and we're not seeing the returns. The weight of their concerns hung heavy in the air. They had all invested too much in this venture. Time, money, sweat, and blood. Failure wasn't just a setback, it was a financial and emotional disaster. Parker had always been the one to push them forward, to inspire them with his unyielding determination, but even he seemed more tense, more withdrawn this season. Parker sat a little apart from the group, staring out into the darkness. His mind was a storm of thoughts, each one pulling him in a different direction. He knew his crew was worried, and truth be told, so was he. The Yukon was a harsh and unforgiving land, and it had no sympathy for those who couldn't adapt to its whims. Parker had learned that the hard way over the years. He had faced down challenges that would have broken lesser men, but this season, the ground itself seemed to be fighting him at every turn. The test drills had been promising, but once they began the real work, the gold had been elusive. He had spent countless hours poring over maps, studying the terrain, trying to pinpoint the most likely spots. But with each passing day, the doubts grew louder in his mind. What if he had miscalculated? What if the gold was deeper than he had thought, or worse, not there at all? His grandfather's words echoed in his mind. Gold mining isn't just about luck, Parker. It's about persistence, about knowing when to push and when to pull back. Parker had always prided himself on his ability to push through adversity, but this time he wondered if he was pushing too hard. He could feel the eyes of his crew on him, waiting for his next move. They trusted him, and that trust was both a comfort and a burden. Parker knew that if he showed even a hint of doubt, it would ripple through the crew like wildfire, eroding their morale. But he also knew that blind optimism wouldn't find them the gold they needed. Parker stood up, brushing the dirt off his hands. We're not done yet, he said, his voice steady and resolute. I know this season has been tough, but we faced worse and come out on top. We need to regroup, reassess, and keep pushing forward. The gold is out there. We just have to find it. The crew nodded, their faith in Parker rekindled by his words, but as they returned to their tents for the night, the worry lingered. They had seen the Yukon break many men before, and they knew that even the most seasoned miners could fall victim to its merciless nature. The next morning the camp was alive with activity. Parker had spent the night going over the data, searching for a new angle, a new plan of attack. He was determined to find the gold, no matter what it took. He called the crew together and outlined his revised strategy. They would focus on a different section of the claim, one that had shown promise in the initial surveys, but had been set aside in favor of more accessible ground. As they began their work, the tension in the air was palpable. Every shovel of dirt, every scoop of gravel was loaded with expectation. The sound of the wash plant echoed across the valley, a constant reminder of the ticking clock. Hours turned into days, and the crew's efforts began to pay off. Slowly but surely, flecks of gold started to appear in the sluice boxes, small but undeniable proof that they were on the right track. But the real test was yet to come. The deeper they dug, the more challenging the terrain became. Boulders the size of cars, underground rivers that threatened to flood their operation, and machinery that groaned under the strain. It was as if the earth itself was daring them to continue. Parker, however, was relentless. He drove his team hard, but he also knew when to let up, to give them the time they needed to regroup and refocus. It was a delicate balance, one that he had learned over years of trial and error. Finally, after weeks of grueling work, they hit pay dirt a thick seam of gold-bearing gravel that promised to make the season a success. The crew's relief was palpable, their cheers echoing across the valley as they realized that their gamble had paid off. Parker stood back, watching his crew celebrate. He knew they still had a long way to go, but this was the breakthrough they needed. The worry that had plagued them for weeks began to dissipate, replaced by a renewed sense of purpose. As the sun set on another day in the Yukon, Parker allowed himself a rare moment of satisfaction. The gold rush was far from over, and the challenges would only grow from here. But for now, they had won this battle. And in the unforgiving world of gold mining, that was no small feat.